Hi, this is Kate Marks. I live in Frederick, Colorado. Today's the 15th of June and I'm here to give an update on my uh, hydro stacker growing vegetables. So, um, here's my fourth tower which I've planted uh, kale, broccoli, down below we've got chard, uh, arugula, and some mustard greens and this little little guy is celery coming up in the uh, stack below that we've got bok choy bursting through have to eat that one soon and next to that some romaine lettuce uh, another lettuce and another lettuce this lower level uh, some herbs, oregano, um, this down here, cilantro, and the spinach isn't looking that happy, but below it is uh, stevia. I'll have to replant. The still wasn't doing so great. Uh, more mustard greens, some oregano, and some parsley. So I'll uh, walk over to my second stacker over here. This is actually the fourth one. Uh, I'll go back to the originals that I made. Uh, so at the top we've got a little bean sprouting, a larger tomato plant. Uh, next to that is a zucchini and another bean. Below on the lower level another zucchini. Something I'll have to replant. A few things didn't make it. Another big bok choy, big lettuce, uh, rainbow shard, another zucchini, my arugula went to flower, a bean starting lettuce, arugula, cilantro, and so that's where we're at with the hydro stackers. You can see how they get watered with the uh, watering feeding tube that goes down into this big garbage bin and there's a uh, water pump down there in that water and then there's a uh, feeding liquid that goes into the water and that's all it needs with the vermiculite uh, perlite mix. So that's the update on the uh, hydro stackers and I'll, uh, I'll keep the information coming.